Weather continues to heat up in Chicago and across the nation, some worrying that more teen takeovers could be on the way. So joining us now to discuss how the city is working to prevent more chaos on the streets of Chicago, Michael Brown, a former Illinois law enforcement officer. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. H have you ever seen anything like last weekend? What do you think caused that? Well, I have seen things like that before. I mean, we just came out of the pandemic uh, some two years ago. And if you would uh, uh, remember the George Floyd riots and other type of uh, police uh, issues, this this is not uncommon. And uh, I, even though I am a former police officer and I understand the law and order aspect of it, there is another uh, aspect or perspective that people may not be taking into consideration. Yes, parenting is extremely important. It really is. But when the parents have not had the guidance themselves and when they have not guided their children, uh, and there's a lot of different things that go on in the community. Sometimes things like this can happen. And I have proposed a, a few solutions uh, to something like this. So it is. Yeah, I mean, the amount of damage that we saw um, was really remarkable. And, and, and that people were punching and breaking windows uh, with people still inside the cars at the time. There were tourists who were running from the sound of gunfire um, happening there. I, I know, you know, as we mentioned, Chicago PD outlining a new safety plan to deter more crowds. Do you think... Um, um, that plan is actually what is needed to help. You're shaking your head no immediately. No, it, see, the thing is, it's not going to work because the juveniles are outnumbering the police, you know. Uh, and the thing is, is that it, there is a program that could, in fact, work. And it, it, there is a charge already on the books or a law already on the books called contributing to the delinquency or criminal delinquency of a minor in the Illinois criminal code. And I'm not for 100 percent locking the parents up, but there needs to be uh, some point where the government doesn't really intrude into the lives of parents and, and telling you how to run your household. They allow you to pretty much do that. But at this point, where even in Chicago, a very liberal city, you know, uh, where uh, they don't in they don't intervene uh, in that at some point, this has to be the political rock bottom. And so to introduce the parent into this, to now say, you've had your chance, now on a deferred prosecution agreement, these are the 10 step services that you have to go through. You have to go to an intensive parenting class. You have to go through an anger management class. You have to get the job services, the therapy, the wraparound services. And these are the conditions whereby upon completion of this program for both you and your child, we can dismiss this case. They've waived the right to say the government has no say when children do stuff like this. Yeah, and, and Michael, Mayor-elect Brandon Johnson did respond to these incidents and said um, that Chicagoans should not, quote, demonize the youth who've been starved of opportunities in their communities. Do you think that's a fair statement to make for the people living in these neighborhoods? I agree in part and disagree in part. Uh, as a person who has a home life skills workshop for boys, as a, as a male mentor, a parenting instructor, it's not that the programs are not there. People have to find value in these programs. And when you're not taught the value of value itself, uh, people or the value of self, people, relationships, resources, and the expiration of those things, you're not going to see these programs that do exist. We have a plethora of them in our community. But when you don't find value you in that, you know, you're not going to see it as a resource. And so uh, it's a lot of materialism. Uh, I think that statement has truth in it, but it's missing a lot of parts. Okay, I hear you. Michael Brown, thank you so much for your insight and time. Appreciate it. Thank you. I appreciate you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.